Okay guys, here's a clip on how to make a lemon steamed pudding. Quite a nice sort of uh, winter dessert uh, steamed puddings are. The process is, is the same, no matter what flavour you do, you're just really changing uh, what you put into it to change the flavour. Here we start the process by um, softening up a little bit of butter and caster sugar. And uh, it's really important that they're nice and soft so that you can um, cream them up well. Just notice here, just putting it over a little bit of a flame just to get it nice and uh, smooth and help that whipping and aeration. It's really important you're, you're doing that to get air into the mix but also to help dissolve that sugar a little bit uh, which is um, important. So you want to cream it up till it's nice and light and fluffy and um, smooth, there's no little lumps of butter in there, it's quite important. Once you've done that you can uh, add the zest of a fresh lemon to it and see we micro plane there that we've got, they're really good um, um, to get the zest of that. The zest actually has most of the flavour as opposed to the juice which is just more of an acidic quality really. Then we slowly um, add the <coughs> beaten egg, which um, when you're adding any egg to a creamed mix it's really important that you uh, warm up the egg a little bit first. You can do that by say um, even putting the whole eggs in, just covering them in a little bit of warm water in a bowl and then cracking them, or beating the eggs and uh, warming them up slowly, um, say in a water bath, <coughs> or even just leaving them in a nice warm area. Um, if it's too cold, what you happen, the eggs are too cold, you'll find that the mix will split and um, and because it splits you lose some of that aeration that's in the mix and uh, you sort of characteristic sort of by curdled sort of look that you'll find. Um, if it does split um, all you do is just add a little bit of flour to it and it tends to bring it back together. Uh, seems to work quite well. So we've incorporated the egg and now it's really a matter of um, adding some of our dry ingredients and here we've got some uh, soft flour and there'll be a little bit of baking powder in there as well. Um, and then we're just lightly combining those ingredients all together folding it in until it's nice and smooth, making sure we don't lose too much of the aeration that we've worked on, um, trying to get it into the mix. And then you see uh, just at that holy spoon there, it's quite a good idea, um, mixing and combining the entire mixture together until it's nice and smooth. So it's at this stage that you could have, add um, other flavouring, you know, if you wanted to do maybe a, um, a maple and walnut one, you'd be um, folding in some uh, walnuts at this stage and with a little bit of spice, you may put a bit of maple syrup in earlier to flavour it. Or if it was say a chocolate one, you may want to be incorporating some cocoa powder or some maybe it's chocolate chips or something. Um, so really the possibilities are endless as to what you want to do. And then <coughs> just adding at the end of the mix here a little bit of milk. Um, it's what we call a closing agent milk, which means that um, it will make the product a little bit heavier. So um, you always try and add that at the last moment because um, you don't want to lose too much of that aeration that you've created through creaming. You do a bit of, bake, bit of baking powder in there and that'll help with the rise later on. And uh, they do tend to, to rise quite a bit, these um, steam puddings. So that's the basic mix all ready. And uh, now we need to fill our little moulds. In this case we've got some uh, little plastic Daryl moulds, um, which are non-stick, and we can put them in the steamer. But if you don't have them, you could use a ramekin or maybe a Daryl mould and lightly butter it and flour it. That seems to work quite well as, as well. So just laying them in, probably going about uh, two-thirds of the way up with the filling. So once they're filled, we cover them with a little bit of um, glad wrap and then we um, place them into our combi steamer. And they'll take about 30 minutes on steam until uh, just slightly cooked. Here's a picture of what they look like when they come out. They've risen up quite a lot, they look quite good. You can trim them down and uh, serve them with a little bit of, in this case here, creme anglaise.